need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. One of the many benefits of project management is the ability to perform earned value analysis. Note that this term is also often referred to as earned value management. This type of analysis allows you to view project statistics that reveal the overall health of the project based in terms of time and cost, while assisting you in revealing trends that can often be indicative of the eventual success or failure of the project. When you view information from earned value analysis within your project file, you compare figures at a specified date in the project file against figures from one of the saved baselines that you have within the project file. Note that you must have saved at least one baseline copy of the project file to show earned value analysis results. You must also have accurately recorded the actual work and costs within the project file. In addition, you must select a status date so that Microsoft Office Project can compare the baseline values against the values recorded as of the status date. You can specify the status date by clicking the Status Date Calendar button that appears within the Status button group on the Project tab within the ribbon. In the Status Date dialog box that then appears, you can use the Calendar drop-down to select a desired status date or simply type a date into the text box shown. Then click the OK button to set the status date. Once you've accomplished these tasks, you can easily view the Earned Value Schedule indicators for your project by clicking the Tables button that appears in the Data button group on the View tab in the ribbon, and then choosing the More Tables command from the drop-down menu. In the More Tables dialog box that then appears, you can then select the Earned Value Schedule Indicators choice from the list and then click the Apply button to display those values in the Gantt chart view. Remember that these values are all set as of the selected status date for the project file. You can change that date in the Project Information dialog box to change the numbers that are shown in this view. In this view you'll see the following data the planned value, which is the budgeted cost of the work scheduled as of the status date, the earned value, which is the budgeted cost of the work performed as of the status date, the schedule variance, which is the difference between the EV and the PV values, the schedule variance percentage, which is the ratio of the SV to the PV expressed as a percentage, and the Schedule Performance Index, or SPI, which is an index value that basically shows how many cents of actual worth was accomplished by the status date for every dollar that you plan to spend. You can also view the Earned Value Cost Indicators for your project file in the table view of the Gantt chart as well. You can switch to this view by clicking the Tables button in the Data button group on the View tab in the ribbon and then choosing the More Tables command from the drop-down menu. In the More Tables dialog box you can then select the Earned Value Cost Indicators choice and then click the Apply button to display the values in the Gantt chart view. As with the Earned Value Schedule Indicators you will see the Planned Value and Earned Value columns. Also within this view, you will find the Cost Variance column, which is the difference between the EV and the actual cost of work performed as of the status date. The Cost Variance Percentage, which is the ratio of cost variance to PV expressed as a percentage, and the Cost Performance Index, or CPI, which shows how many cents worth of work was accomplished for each dollar's worth of work that was spent. You'll also see the Budget at Completion, or BAC, which is the total baseline cost for the task, the Estimate at Completion, or EAC, which represents the forecasted cost to complete a task, the Variance at Completion, or VAC, which is the difference between the BAC and the EAC, 
and the Two Complete Performance Index, or TCPI, which shows the ratio of work remaining to the budget remaining as of the status date. Note that for users of Microsoft Office Project 2013 through 2010, who also have Microsoft Excel installed, you can also create a visual earned value over time report. This is one of the many Excel reports that are available within Project. This report shows the standard S curve line that traces the cumulative value of three key indicators over time. The three indicators shown in the report are the actual cost of work performed, the budgeted cost of work scheduled, and the budgeted cost of work performed. To create this report in Microsoft Project 2013, click the Visual Reports button that appears within the Export button group on the Report tab within the ribbon. If you're using Microsoft Project 2010, Click the Visual Reports button within the Reports button group on the Project tab within the ribbon. At this point in all versions of Project, the Visual Reports dialog box will appear. Note that you must have Microsoft Excel checked at the top of the dialog box to show templates from Excel within the dialog box. Also, you must have Microsoft Excel installed on your computer. To open the Earned Value Over Time report, Click the Assignment Usage tab, and then select the name of the report. You can then click the View button that appears within the Visual Reports dialog box to open Microsoft Excel and show the resultant chart and pivot table for the report. Now once the report has been created in Excel, you can then manipulate it as needed to display the desired data. Note that there are many types of reports that are available for use within Project. Now when you've finished creating reports in Microsoft Project, you can then click the Close button within the Visual Reports dialog box. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise licensing.